Thank you, Ian, for the introduction. It's actually very touching. Um, so, yes. Uh, the connection between geography and university. My name is Jake Shepherd, and I'm a geography student at Royal Holloway University of London. What I have to say is difficult, but the overall picture is positive. And the takeaway message is this. We all have a part to play in breaking the connection between geography and university. And I didn't, I didn't start thinking about this connection until I moved to university in 2016. It was the first time I'd ever moved out of Harlow, but I wasn't alone. My best friend from primary school was also studying university at Royal Holloway, which raised this question. How many of our friends from primary school were also starting university that September? I'm sure we all agree that going to university should be 100% your choice. But this connection between where you live and whether you go to university suggested to me that other factors might influence your decision. But before I continue, I just want to stress that going to university is not essential to being successful. There's no right or wrong answer. And it turns out I'm not the only one interested in this connection. The Higher Education Funding Council for England created POLA, or Participation of Local Areas, and it's used to measure the combined participation rates of students aged 18 and 19 who went on to study at university between the years 2009 and 2014, and 2010, and 2015. And it works a bit like this. Local areas are ranked on a scale from one to five. One being the lowest, and five being the uh, highest. And whilst this connection is visible on a national scale, returning to my questions about the primary friends which I grew up with, what does this connection look like on a local scale. And so whilst we can compare Harlow to the surrounding areas, this doesn't still fully contextualize in a local sense what this connection looks like locally. And so if you will, I just want you to imagine you are on a bus. And so more specifically, the number 10 bus. And what I would like you to do is you may know this route. It goes from the train station to the town center before finally moving to Church Langley. And so in between you boarding that bus at the, at the train station and reaching the town center, the proportion of young people who go to university aged 18 or 19 increases by 8.5%. But say you were to stay on that bus until it reaches Church Langley. Well, despite some variation on the way, when you step off that bus, the proportion of young people who go to university increases to its peak across town. But I did say the picture is positive, and it is. Here in Harlow, the proportion of young people who go on to university is increasing. So in Harlow, it's the second largest growth in the proportion of students going to university in the local area, and the third across the whole of Essex. And the trend you can see is testament to the teachers, the parents, the schools, and the colleges in our town, which are supporting students' ambition to get students' ambitions to go to university. And as a student myself, I wanted to play a small part in raising ambitions and helping students make their choice whether or not they want to go to university. And so my dissertation, which aims to make connections between Harlow's 40th and 70th anniversary commemorations, um, aims to do just that. So I created a website and a blog where residents and students can ask questions about the dissertation research process and um, hopefully inform their decision and give them a glimpse of just a short period of my time at university. And so the takeaway message is this. Breaking the connection between geography and university is already happening. Um, and so looking forward, looking toward the future, I hope we reach a stage where the 
only young people in Harlow who don't go to university are those who choose to. Thank you. Well done, Jake. How do you feel? Good, good. You feel good? You yeah. feel good? So um, what's the, the best thing in university life? I think you just meet, on the, it's actually, on the topic of making connections, it's the people you meet. Um, I think it was a completely other world, it was a completely new world for me. I was the first to go to university in my family, and so I didn't have anyone to ask what it's like. But going there myself, it's, it's, completely, it's completely new, and I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't swap it for the so world. So you meet new people, but then you bumped into somebody you knew from primary school who's been... Yeah. In, okay, and that made you think about how can we got here and other people, other people didn't. Yeah. I love what you do with this, the, the statistics, that you actually interrogate them enough in order to say, actually, Harlow's, we're on the up, we're doing okay. And that's testimony to the sorts of things that are going on in schools like this, changing people's perceptions of what they're capable of. Um, I like the fact as well that the closer you are to Tesco's, the more likely to are, you are to university. <laughs> that's great. What would happen if there's a Waitrose moved in? We'd be, oh, we'd have Harlow University. <laughs> Sponsored by Waitrose. Um, what would be, uh, and what's interesting as well, you say, you know, that the, the, the only ones you want who don't go to university are the ones who choose not to. Yeah. So, so you don't have to go to university, because there was a time where if they're not going to university, then, then we don't want them to know. But there, there are so many options now. What would be, so if a young person seeing this or here today thinks, I don't want to go to university, what, what would you say to them? Uh, the first thing I say is that's absolutely fine. That's fantastic. You should never feel pushed into going to university, because it's not one or the other, it's not right or wrong. You might decide to go to university later in life, but um, the fact is that, you know, it's not the key to being successful. People who are successful, loads of them, probably far more of them, actually didn't go to university because going to university is, in fact, a privilege and most people don't go to university. So, so there are many routes to achieve their full potential. We're not saying don't go, just waste your time, you know, drop out. We're saying find your different way, find your route, find what works for you. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, Jake, thank you very much. Thank you very much.